don't know if it, I would say surprise because I've really believed the second year of the same scheme, <coughs> the same coaches, um, our players are truly understanding the details of the defense. And now they've been able to go out and execute. Both weeks, it's been the first game uh, for the opponent. And so we've seen some things that you haven't been able to prepare for. But the thing that's impressed me the most is the ability to get to the sidelines, get it corrected, and go out there and, and really go out and execute. How has this program been able to win 28 straight games against the ACC? <laughs> the majority of those wins were before I was here. Um, but I think it speaks to Notre Dame and the football program and the players it attracts and uh, really the, the excellence um, in, in, in our program, right, in, in over history. Um, again, I didn't know that number, but that's a lot, you know, and, and that spans over many years, and, and credit to the coaches, Coach Kelly, that, that had the majority of those wins, right, and that what he's done here. And so we have to just focus on this one, man, you know, and, and not trying to give you a coach speak, but, but, but this is the one that's important. Sam has had his struggles against NC State, so I'm curious, how much do you look at what he did specifically in those games, if at all, what NC State's defense did, and what is that conversation like with him going against the team that's kind of had his number? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he had, I don't know what happened when he was away for us, but um, I, I bet you he'll probably look at it, right? I don't know how much we'll study that as as much as we'll study what they did versus UConn and, and what they've done in the past year or so. And so, um, again, this is not many quarterbacks have been very successful against this defense. So um, we got to make sure our plan is, is really clean and, and you don't want a huge plan. Like, let's be um, confident what we're doing. You know, three, it's a unique defense, the 3-3-5, three, three, and it's not something you see every day. So we have to make sure our plan is, is nice and tight and, and our guys go out and, and go do the job. We'll take a stab at the injuries here. An update on Gabriel Rubio's status, uh, how Devin Ford is doing, and then Drake Bowen was ruled out as well. Just curious what he's dealing with. Um, Gabe Rubio is still out. You know, he had a, a, an arthroscopic surgery, so he should be back in a, another couple of weeks. Um, Devin Ford is still, he, he had a concussion, so he's in concussion protocol. Don't know the status yet. That will be a day-by-day -day thing. Drake Bowen should be back this week. And then um, I don't know if you guys, Matt Salerno uh, had a low, lower leg injury, and uh, he'll be out for an extended period of time, um, multiple weeks. I don't know really when he'll be back, but um, yeah, he had definitely had a, uh, an 